Hi, okay, so my um, video is about e-cigarettes. Um, I don't think, it'll, like, all of you know how popular they are and, like, all, um, like, how harmful they are to your body. Uh, there's been a 42% increase in the e-cig industry um, every year, and um, that's crazy to me, and a 900% increase in um, use in high school students from 2011 to 2015. Um, most high school students can't even, aren't even old enough to purchase e-cigarettes, so um, that like doesn't make sense to me, and I think something needs to be done to stop it because um, they are really, really bad for you. Um, so there's two different types of e-cigs. Um, one is like the like the QG cigs with like a big battery and um, a tank and then the e-liquid and then the other one is something like a jewel where it's just like a tiny little flash drive looking thing with um, a little pod that has um, a liquid in it. The um, e-cigs that have the big battery and stuff, those um, have a lower nicotine anywhere from like some can even have zero nicotine and then um, Others, it can go all the way up to, like, 30 or something. I don't know. But <laughs> a lot. And then um, the um, smaller ones, like a Jewel, those hold a ton of nicotine. Like, one pod is equal to a pack of cigs. And um, that is crazy. And I don't think – I think a lot of you know that um, a Jewel pod is a pack of cigs. But um, not, like, I don't think you really think about it until, like, you um, realize or until someone says something and um, so let's go over the liquid so there's a lot of different chemicals in the liquid um, that you probably don't know and I'm probably gonna mess up the names but um, there's nicotine and then cro I don't know something glycol and then um, vegetable glycer gly glycerin um, and then additives and flavorings I'm so sorry I messed that up so bad but um, there's also formaldehyde, and um, there's just like all those things are so bad for you. And um, one of like some chemicals like or can cause heart disease. And then um, there's one that can cause popcorn lung, which is um, like a lot of people get that from smoking cigarettes. And you don't think that you'd be able um, to get it smoking e-cigs. But um, it's the same chemicals, so you can still get heart disease and um, and popcorn lung and stuff like that. And um, also, if you smoke e-cigarettes um, while you're pregnant, which that isn't a big deal to like, hopefully for students because they're not pregnant. But um, if you do smoke while you're pregnant, it can cause birth de birth defects. Um, and it can also harm the people around you. There's a study done by Wolfgang Spuler, and um, it found that the um, chemicals in the smoke can lower the air quality um, by just raising like the PAHs and then um, nicotine and aluminum levels in the air. And um, so it can give people like secondhand smoke, but also, um, these devices are pretty dangerous. Um, they um, <coughs> they um, can explode. The batteries can explode. And um, there's a case in um, Florida where a 14 year old woman or a 14 year old girl was at um, Orlando Studios or whatever it's called, and um, she was standing next to someone in line and this lady's e-cigarette exploded in her purse and it gave the child um, really bad burns all over her and then um, there's a lot of other cases like that where e-cigs e have been exploding um, but it kind of depends on the battery so if it's something small like a jewel like that's not very likely to explode but the ones with the big batteries those will explode and um, or could explode and then it's also different because like it's the same kind of battery like a laptop battery but those are like in your lap or on your desk um they're not directly like on your face and 
so there's like a lot worse effects or like batteries exploding in your face like obviously um but a man actually died um in may this year from um an e-cigarette exploding um while he was hitting it and then like there's been a bunch of other cases where people have gotten like severe burns um and it's really bad so um also um it's not just about you whenever you're smoking like it's not like yes it like it affects you directly but it also affects like i said the people around you secondhand smoke e e cigs exploding and it affects your family if something happens to you like your family has to deal with that and um your friends like your friends and family love you like why would you do like something do that to yourself to harm them um and then there's like like we obviously know the effects of cigarettes and like everyone's like oh gross a cigarette like i'm not smoking that but a ton of people will smoke e-cigs and um like i know a bunch of people that smoke e-cigs but won't smoke a cigarette and we like know the effects of that because it's been around so long but we don't know the effects um e-cigs have yet really because um the because they haven't been around so we can't study it like long term but we know that the chemicals in them are harmful but um e-cigs have been around or cigarettes have been around for a while and i also want to take a second to um, mention like how they're marketed so like cigarettes there's like a big um a really big case in I think 1960 in the 1960s with Joe Camel um he was it was like a camel being advertised um used as advertising for camel cigarettes and he like it was a cartoon animal and everyone knew who he was like even the little kids they knew Joe Camel was for camel cigarettes and a lot of kids there was a study done too um that kids knew like Joe Camel to Mickey Mouse. Like Joe Camel is to Camel cigarettes to Mickey Mouse to Disney. Like everyone knew who he was and um there's a big trial going on because um because like they thought that they were advertising to kids and trying to trying to get kids to smoke, which is like really bad because um they're not like cigarettes are not meant for kids and you don't want to appeal to kids and that's kind of what um e-cigarettes are do our companies are doing they're trying to appeal to students and i think that's why there's been a 900 percent increase in um high school users because there's like if you walk into a vape store there's like a there could be like a sign or there has been signs that it's like back to school sale like um they're obviously targeting students and like trying to get them to buy and like get people hooked on nicotine early on and so they can make more money um so i think that it should be advertised differently also one more thing this is um a really like i think that nick or e-cigs if they um if there was only a tobacco flavor like i would never try anything tobacco flavor because that sounds disgusting like fruity and minty flavors that these e-cigs have like those appeal to student or to appeal to like people who don't smoke and since they're supposed to be for people who have smoked um i think it should only be tobacco flavored because that's who it appeals to and um i just think that it should be like marketed differently like that but um i just want everyone to think about every young um e-cigarette smoker to think about themselves every time they um hit their e-cig think about like what that one hit is doing to their whole body think is it giving me heart disease or um lung cancer popped in lung like what is it doing to my body and how is it affecting me how am i affecting others around me lowering the um levels in the air or um just bringing that kind of equipment so close to your face like it could really could explode like that's not um It is, like, it's not super common, but it, like, has obviously happened and people have died from it. So, um, I just want you all to think about it and think about what you're doing.